Oh my days. That is insane. So I guarantee in a hundred years time we'll look back, we'll do the same TikTok and things will be drastically different and we'll all be digital. And I'll be talking to you guys via some chip in my head that is communication and sending messages to each other. Think about that. <laughs> Okay ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new video. Today in this video I'm going to be reacting to architecture TikToks. A very different video to what I'd normally film. I let you guys choose in my Instagram exactly what video to film today and that is what you guys picked so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be reacting to architecture TikToks. So let's dive into the TikTok space. Right, let's do this top light video, the first one. We've got a hand drawing and this is looking nice. Honestly, I don't think there's anything better than a hand-drawn floor plans, sections, site plans. Look at the detail. And almost when you're sketching, you can see here in this video that the ink is kind of dispersing across the page slightly when you're drawing the line. And I think that even adds a little bit of character to the, to the drawing. <laughs> nice. Nice elevations there. The reason I carry on studying Okay, <laughs> I was expecting something a bit more dramatic. Right, here's another hand-drawn poster. They've even done the text. Nice, this is some nice drawings. This person's got some serious skill. Wow, look at that. That literally looks like they've done it on Photoshop or something. That looks unbelievable. They've even got a little bit drop shadow behind the writing. Wow. So this is the kind of stuff I wish I could do at architecture school, but I literally just don't have the capacity, the skill set to be able to do this. I also don't have the bottle to be able to do this because usually when I start adding colour and I'm sort of filling in letters, I panic and I end up messing it up. So fair play to this person, this is really nice stuff. And even in a review when you pin this up, this is going to look really nice. POV one month into architecture uni. <laughs> They want a lockdown one month into architecture school. You've got another three, maybe five, maybe seven, eight years left if you want to be a fully qualified architect. I pick my poison and it's... <laughs> pick my poison, it's architecture. I can relate. <laughs> Engineers, but your design is physically impossible. Yep, Zaha Hadid. She's an absolute genius. It is crazy when you look at these designs you think that this is actually fully functional building. And this is probably these designs have probably started from just a random sketch, just a squiggly line. <laughs> Was she bleeding? Nice. Got some nice models there as well. Wow. Yeah, you'd have some sore hands doing that. I bet they spent hours and hours doing that as well. Me wants to be an architect. Nice drawings. iPad. Using an iPad. Highly recommend. If you don't have one of these people, highly recommend investing. I think everyone in architecture knows this trick. Let's see if I know it. That's a good trick, I've never actually thought of doing that. See, whenever I do some kind of presentation when I've been including text, it's always been used in post-production, in Photoshop, in InDesign or something like that when I'm putting together a portfolio or a presentation. I'm not sure if it's an architecture thing or a designing thing or maybe even dyslexic thing on my behalf. Um, as I write everything in capitals, so if I wrote something on my drawings, I'd completely wreck them. So I de I'm, I'm just gonna stick to post-production writing for sure. Got a nice laser cut model, photographing it nicely. A nice drawing this. How the hell do they draw it so straight freehand? I can't draw lines that straight freehand. Look at that, that is some serious skill. Wow, that's nice. Literally just pure hatching and the level and the density of hatching. 
will completely change the atmosphere of a drawing. Pretty sick. I've got to do something like that. Got a nice little landscape plan. There's something satisfying about using uh, pro markers like that. Oh my days. That is insane. Whew. Fair play. <laughs> Bit of eating in 12 to school. Yeah, that's also insane. One thing I have realized is that people on TikTok have some serious skill. Uh, that is absolutely unbelievable. The detail in that in watercolor. And now a word from our sponsors. Yes, yeah, so this video is sponsored by Skillshare. As you guys have seen on these TikToks, some people are extremely talented and you guys are probably watching this thinking, oh, I wish I could do that. And Skillshare can actually help you out. Skillshare has a wide range of online classes and tutorials, whether you're an architecture student, whether you're a graphic designer, illustrator, chef, I think it covers many, many topics. And if you guys want to improve your sketching skills, you can head over to Skillshare and they've got a wide range of tutorials and classes for you guys. And in particular, as I've been scrolling through Skillshare, I couldn't help but look at this greenery and urban sketching tutorial by Julia Hens, who is an artist, teacher, and urban sketching lover. And in this hands-on class project, she'll teach you step-by-step -step how to do shapes, details, shadows, colors. And in this class, she'll teach you how to do some amazing urban sketches, very similar to what you've seen in some of these TikToks. And she'll teach you in this class. So if you guys want to check that out, please sign up to Skillshare and the first 1,000 people to hit the link down below in the description will receive a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. Back to the video. That's impressive, not architect. Got a bit of. <laughs> Got a bit of right now. Boolean difference. See, that almost doesn't impress me, the intermediate one. I was expecting some mad drawing, but no. Getting tucked up in bed, getting an early night. Yeah, that is impressive. That actually, <laughs> I like that. That is the best one for me. I've got those architecture markers. Oh, i got a bit, whoa. Wow. Wow, yeah. I'm jealous. My question is, how the hell would you get up that? And what if you're scared of heights? And <laughs> you stood on the edge and you're looking over and you're thinking, oh my word. That my mum would never go up that. Wobbly legs, the whole lot. No chance. How do we even go from this? Of this <laughs> yeah, it's a bit different we've come a long way for sure but wait till you see 50 years time 100 years time then what we're going to go to we're all going to be walking around the metaverse we're not even going to have buildings we're going to be walking around things digitally with our vr headsets on think about that so i guarantee in 100 years time we'll look back we'll do the same tiktok and things will be drastically different and we'll all be digital and i'll be talking to you guys via some chip in my head that is communicating and sending messages to each other. Think about that. <laughs> I'm gonna be an architecture freshman and classrooms are about to start. So like, wow. If you could draw like that before going into architecture, you've got a good start. Wow. So I'm telling you, TikTok's got some talented people. On it, if I could draw like that, Especially before going into architecture, wow. My architecture project is due in two weeks. A bit of SketchUp, crashed several times, yep. Had to redo it five times, yep. Struggles of being an architecture student, I can tell you that for free. This is why I've got literally five hard drives, I think, full of work, copies and copies of work. I've got OneDrives, I've got external hard drives, I've got storage on my laptop. 
I've got Google Drives, I've got work everywhere in case something drastic happens uh, on my last few weeks of a project, which most of the time something always happens. I, I guarantee you guys, all you guys who are watching this, who are architect students, have you ever gone into a deadline week and nothing bad has happened? Always something goes wrong. I can tell you that for free. Do architect students sleep? <laughs> In the studio. <laughs> It's all worth it in the end, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> until you're trying to find a job. And then that's when you're struggling and you're thinking, why the hell have I done this? But no, it's definitely true. I'm, personally for me, what gets me through architecture school is thinking about the end goal and thinking about throwing that graduation hat in the air, thinking about getting that job, thinking about having that degree and going through those three years of hard work or five years of hard work and having that degree at the end of it. It is worth it. In a way. <laughs> and I think that's enough TikToks for today. That's about 10 minutes worth of TikToks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. That'd be much, much appreciated. If you guys want me to do another video where I react to kind of Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts or even more TikToks, um, architecture TikToks, just let me know. I hope you enjoyed this kind of something different um, on my channel. And yeah, hope you guys all had a lovely Christmas as well because this is going up two days after Christmas. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I will see you next time. Peace.